What's up you guys, I'm Dan, this is Frugal Not Cheap, and today we'll see what the spring, or really more like summer, update brings to a legacy Tesla Model S. So I've got what they call a legacy or a pre-2021 Model S, but I do have MCU2, uh, which is the new media control unit that's in the Model 3 and the Model Y. The older ones, the newest ones, um, have uh, MCU3 basically. But in any case, that means that we do get a lot more features on these cars than the um, really old uh, Model S and X that have MCU1. So the quote unquote spring update that's really coming out in the summer, because I'm feeling filming this around the middle of June, came to me with version 2024.14.9 and came along with full self-driving software 12.3.6. Let's take a look at what that brought for us in the release notes. So the previous version that I had was um, 2024.8, where I had this uh, one-time charge limit that we could set and some security improvements as well. But what we got here first is uh, the stuff that came with 2024.14. This is really the spring update stuff. There's a whole lot of stuff that you would get on the um, the new Model S and X that have like this really nice user interface and is pretty snazzy and all that. Uh, but we don't get that here on the old uh, legacy Model S and X. We do get a few things though. So here we can see that uh, now when we're parked, we can expand the browser to full screen. I'll show you that. Um, we can also swipe to delete sentry mode recordings, which is cool. Uh, if we got valet mode, then you'll get a notification when the valet um, unlocks or shifts the car out of park. So it let, lets you know when they're moving the car, which could be nice to know in case they're doing it for some random reason during the middle of dinner. <laughs> uh, and then we got an update to uh, the game Polytopia as well. Okay, then we've also got here some security improvements, which is great. Uh, we get a notification if there's a better route available. I haven't seen that just yet. Um, it's kind of hard to to show it for the video, but um, you know we'll see uh, if on my route uh, when we go for a drive here it'll show that or not. But yeah, hard to say. And then this is pretty cool. We now get to preview uh, sentry mode recordings. Unfortunately, though, right now this requires uh, that you're on an iPhone, so they haven't built it for Android yet. Um, so it really doesn't help me out because uh, I'm an Android user. Uh, and then also don't use Spotify, but if you are a Spotify user, this could be good. You can now sync your um, queue across vehicles and devices, which is pretty awesome, and also adjust the playback speed. So that's pretty neat, especially playback speed if you are listening to podcasts. Uh, then we also got Audible, so that is on, on my uh, car here. Um, but again, I don't really use Audible either, so that's not very helpful <laughs> for me. Um, in 2024.14.3, we got the uh, trip progress bar, so we'll see that when we go on a drive in a moment. And it does show you um, how heavy the traffic is along the way, so that's pretty cool. Um, we did have that on the map anyway, but uh, it is nice to have that just in a handy little bar uh, that's a little bit easier to read. And then, of course, we've got, again, um, FSD 12.3.6, uh, which we'll get to see how the uh, performance is on my quick little drive here in a moment. But first, let's take a look at some of the features while we're parked. So, um, it told us that we could expand the browser uh, while we're parked, and in fact you can. So this is the new button over here. So you just hit that, boom, and then now the browser is expanded to the full screen. So that's pretty nice, uh, especially if we want to do, I don't know, let's say that we're doing a little bit of uh, x.com. <laughs> so you'll be able to see a whole lot more um, on your timeline uh, this way. And there we go, quite a bit of content on the timeline on the screen. So that is kind of a nice feature here, um, you know, when you're doing web browsing to be able to have the full screen. It is kind of weird. I usually use the dark mode, but uh, <laughs> it's on the light mode here on the web browser. Anyway, the other cool thing that we got was over here in the viewer for the dash cam and sentry mode. It's not too, too slow to load these days, but it takes a little bit. Um, so here is the sentry mode, and uh, the, the new feature is that we can actually just uh, swipe in order to delete, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I don't think I need these, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete those. Boom, boom, and boom. Uh, and again, I'm hoping to get the preview later uh, where I'll be able to see um, those, you know, sentry video previews on my phone. Hopefully they'll be building that for Android uh, in the future. Fingers crossed. What else can I show you? Well, obviously, you know, we do have Audible here, but again, I don't have an account set up. 
Um, and then also we do have, if we were to change my sources, and then I could also add Spotify here and we'd be able to use that. And you can see we've got quite a few uh, media options here now, which uh, I don't think you get all of these with, um, uh, with MCU1, definitely. And then also, um, again, we have uh, a, lot, a lot of these games here still. Um, I've heard tell that some of these, you know, more basic games are going to be going away in the future, but um, I still have them on my car for now. And then we have all these more advanced games like, yeah, the Beach Buggy and the Polytopia, etc., etc. So there you go, Skyforce Reloaded and what have you. Well, I think that's about everything that we can look at um, on the screen here. The rest of the stuff will be uh, on the drive, so let's take a quick drive and um, see what we see. All right, guys, I'm trying something new here. We're a lot more zoomed in uh, than normal. Usually I've got the uh, the ultra-wide view, um, and that's just so that you can see, you know, the screens a little bit better, because that's really kind of the point um, of this video, <laughs> um, of this part of the video. It's not really like an FSD test, it's more about showing you the, the software. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to um, Office Depot, just pick up a few documents that I had printed out. So there we go, and you can already see the uh, the navigation bar, and it's showing there's a couple of spots where there's going to be traffic, and then those correspond to these spots over here on the map. Um, we are in park, and we do have those uh, ugly new icons that NHTSA mandated, uh, which is really funny because um, I think Canada asked them to put the old icons back because they're better. And uh, you know what? They are, so that makes sense to me. Okay, here we go. So we're in park, and I thought it would be fun to... Um, try to get FSD going here uh, from the beginning. And uh, and so let's see if it's gonna be able to do that. So I'm just gonna pull uh, the cruise control stock forwards once in order to engage FSD. And then you'll see that um, it'll be engaged when that steering wheel turns blue. All right, so here we are pulling out, making sure we don't hit that car as we pull out. Good, I did a good job. And here we gotta open up this gate. Oh, why isn't it opening? Okay, here it goes. My little key fob's getting a little, uh, I don't know, the button's not very good on it. Okay, oh, this is interesting. So we're going around the gate a little bit. Got a little impatient there, but that's fine. I do have my hands near the wheel, by the way, in case I need to intervene at any time. And I do have my uh, feet near the brake pedal and the accelerator, in case I need to engage that as well. So one thing to point out here is the indicators look different to me. So the turn signals again, I think they're a little bit bigger and a little bit easier to see. I don't know, they just kind of look a little bit different than they used to. So here we go, we're going to have to change lanes again. Very nice. They, uh, they still haven't fixed the, um, <laughs> the uh, uh, album art thing, so uh, <laughs> just so you know. So here we are playing across the universe, and you can see the album art's correct up here, and then the album art is correct down there as well. Uh, but if I switch tracks, now we're listening to I Get Around by the Beach Boys, and clearly that's not the wrong, right album art, uh, but the correct album art is showing down here um, in the... Um, uh, on the center screen on the main screen because again they've worked on that but they haven't done uh, <laughs> as much work as I think they could do on the uh, <laughs> on the instrument cluster here for these older cars unfortunately. So if there's anything different uh, in the UI that you've noticed, let me know. Um, but as far as I can tell, it's pretty much all the same. Um, and really the people that have the, uh, the Ryzen cars are the ones that got all the really, really cool updates uh, from the, uh, the, spring, uh, the spring update from Tesla. Navigation is ended, we're at zero feet, so 
I think it might just stop. Yeah, it did. So there you have it guys, that's the spring update on a 2017 Tesla Model S. Um, not huge improvements, but anyway, a couple nice little things at least came along. Uh, but I will say if the FSD performed quite well and it got us from the parking spot all the way here into the parking lot and it would have been a perfect drop off uh, for the front door if it had been a robo taxi, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.